It's a beautiful morning on the Collie River this morning. Time to throw the kayak in, go for a fish. So this morning I'm going to use the Z-Man Slim Swim in motor oil, 1 16th jig head, rigged weedless. Oh, there we go, the line's just got tapped. Oh. So I'm not experienced enough yet to know what's going on with, um, with the brim. But I just felt a tap. I'm sort of starting to figure out the difference between dragging it over the snag and getting a tap from a brim. So I think there's one there. Oh. And then I go and do something silly like cast it up into a tree. You know, for those that um, don't fish for brim, the frustration is just, it's through the roof. It really is. And it's, you sit and you watch the videos of the guys that are really good, and it just appears that they just catch brim after brim after brim. But then you chat to them online, and they're in the same boat. They have a lot of fishless sessions and a lot of time spent on the water. <clears throat> but they don't often cast into trees like that. Pretty sure only I do that. There goes my line again. So I'm not feeling anything at the rod, but I'm just watching my line tug. I don't know whether that's because it's. I don't know whether that's a brim or just the movement in the line. It's not doing it anymore. Oh, I'm on. Oh, it was. Oh, I was on. I was flat out on. <sighs> Take a positive out of this. I'm. I'm super frustrated. Look at that. Look at that. I'm super, super frustrated about this situation, but I've got to take a positive out of it. I was correct. I was right. It was Brim having a nibble. So I'm learning. Right, oh, let's try again. Let's now. Those that know better, let me know. Like, if I cast back in there, have I got any chance of catching this fella? I don't think I have if I hit that stump. I really wanted to bring Josh this morning. I'm a bit disappointed he, um, he didn't want to come. I really thought he could have a go with these <coughs> weedless rigs. So how he's been fishing for brim is of had him on bait, just alongside me, but behind me a bit so I get to fish the snags. And um, <coughs> he trolls it in the middle of the river, which probably isn't gonna give him much of a chance. And every now and then he, he casts in close to the snags that I've already fished, and he lets it sit there. He hasn't had any luck uh, here in the collie. But when we fished the Franklin River, which I hadn't started videoing at that stage, we would have pulled out, I reckon, 40 fish, mostly undersized, <coughs> and a couple size, nothing big. But he loved it. He just thought it was fantastic. Oh, I'm on. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, oh, it's worth it. Yesterday I was ready to give up, people. Oh, come here, you little bugger. Yesterday I was so ready to give up. And just they're just so frustrating, these fish. Come here. Come on, mate. Oh, you're really having a go, aren't you? Oh, he's hit the bottom of the boat. 
Come here, mate. Come here. Come here. Come on. Oh, you've really swallowed that. I don't want you to do that. Ow! You bloody mongrel. Oh. <sighs> Look at that. 280 mil, 28 centimetres. And fat. And spawning, I think, so I better let him go. Well, I was going to let him go anyway, but I don't want to get that hook out of you if I can. I don't want to hurt you. So, how am I going to do that? You so swallowed that. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I've tried to get this hook out and lure, just being as gentle as I can, but I can't. And um, I've pulled fish out of here with hooks in before, so I'm going to let him go and the hook will rust. And, um, He'll just live to fight another day. Also, when I was reaching around the back, I've sliced myself with my knife, so that sucks. He's gone. Didn't affect him too much. Ugh. Don't know what I'm going to do about this cut. It's a freaking good one. Fishing with lures, I've got no reason to have a filleting knife in that esky. None at all. And what do I do? I do something absolutely stupid, fiddle around in there for my pliers to help that fish, and um, which isn't really stupid, but fiddle around in there for the pliers that aren't even in there. Right, uh, I'm getting freaking blood everywhere. I have to re rig now. See if I can tie this. <laughs> while I'm in this situation. Right, I'm back. Seven dollar shirt. Make up a bandage, makeshift bandage. spot now. So if anyone um, out there knows how to measure brim, uh, do you measure it from the tip of its nose to the tip of its um, forked tail or do you measure it from the tip of the nose to the inside of the uh, forked tail? I hear a lot of people saying uh, 30 tipper. I don't understand what that means. If anyone has any information that they're willing to share with me. My casts are terrible with this bandage on my finger. It's just, I just want this bleeding to stop. See if I can get the casting accuracy with this bloody bandage on my finger. Oh, I got it where I wanted it, but it's went over top of some limbs. Rotten mongrel. Right where I wanted it. Exactly where I wanted it, but it went straight over some limbs. So this little spot we're coming up to, this is where I was fishing just after Wally gave me the advice the next morning. And I got the bite and it took a bit of line and then it let go. And then I went on another fishing session, which I didn't... Um, produce a video for because it was fishless and same spot took the line took it hard peeled a bit of line off wrapped me around a snag and snapped me off so there's something decent in here oh and I got it in the spot even with me bandage on let it sink. Oh, I'm drifting too much. Stop drifting.
I'm on. Oh, so. oh, there we go. I'm on. Here we go. Yes. It's only a little one. It's only a bubby. I need to get a net. It's only a bubby, but he keeps wearing me out a bit, I think. I'm away from the snags. I'm starting to get to the snags. Hey buddy. You know, I almost didn't go fishing this morning. Just, oh, I'm on again. No. Something's had to go then. Something had to go then. And then I let it go. <laughs> Had it in its mouth and it was too smart for me. That was right at the yak, you know. Get out of that snag, you mongrel. Oh, he's in the snag. I lost him. Oh, no. Oh, no. He took me into the snag and let go. Oh, oh no. Oh, this is so much fun. He didn't feel that big anyway. It's funny, you know, just when you're... Um, thinking, oh, they've gone off the bite, it's time to go home. That happens. Ooh, hey mods, skip cast. By accident, but still a skip cast. Oh, get off that. Time to head in. I need to go to the toilet. Um, I find when I'm getting a bit um, patient, it's probably ineffective fishing, so time to head in. <laughs> 